I'm Marlo coming to you from Grants Pass, Oregon, really late tonight on the porch again. It was a crazy, crazy day and the frogs are silent, but they're just starting to come back. Seems something was walking over there. Anyway, I just want to do a quick update. Um, it was been a crazy weekend. We had the power out a lot yesterday and the internet out. And then today the power went out again for several hours. And so it kind of threw my whole weekend off. So I'm super late getting on here. I wanted to go a lot earlier. But I had some things I had to finish uh, working um, with Ray Higdon and the 14 Day Challenge and doing stuff with that. So I had to get some stuff done before I could get on here. So I am super late, but I just wanted to do a quick update. We did have to run out. I had to get some insulin for my husband today. So we did hit Walmart, trying to stay away from the stores. But since I'm there, I wanted to pick up a few things. I got um, a Halo Top ice cream, low carb ice cream. And I figured that would be a good comfort food because I don't know about you, but lots of things going on right now, lots of uncertainty, lots of stress, lots of things like that. And I'm finding myself uh, wanting a little bit of comfort food, wanting something to, you know, make me feel a little better or that sort of thing. And I know on my low carb journey, I'm trying to stay away from that. You don't want uh, food to be your comfort and that sort of thing. But I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of leeway now because there's lots of stress going on and a little bit of something once in a while I think is a good thing. And it, I don't mind it as long as I can stay and maintain where I am. That's really good. So um, feeling really good. I'm trying, I'm not really going um, off of my low carb. I'm just, I think I'm finding myself eating a few extra low carb items, munching a little bit too much. And I'm finding I've been really busy that I'm not eating a whole lot of meals, but um, I do pick a, like a comfort kind of a snack, like a low carb bar, my birthday cake bar, or the Halo Top. I had some Halo Top tonight, which was really good. I love the peaches and cream. That is one of my favorites. I like the mint chimp too. That one's a really good one also. But uh, I don't know, how are you feeling? Is it, uh, you finding that you're wanting to eat a little more, a little bit more stress, that sort of thing? Not sure what's going on. I know we're supposed to go on um, our shelter in place starting tomorrow. So, um, you know, things, I don't, I don't know how that's going to affect us. Um, I mean, it's going to affect my daughter, I think, and her boyfriend. They are probably not going to be working. Um, and I know a lot of people are out of jobs. And right now it's just crazy when you drive around and all the restaurants are closed and the businesses are closed. The drive throughs are open, which is a good thing. Um, people can still get last minute meals or, you know, get some fast food if they want. But the drive throughs are getting starting to get a lot longer. So they're having some delays. But you have to have patience out there because nobody wanted this kind of thing to go on. And it's uh, it's kind of good that we're, if we can try to, you know, stay, stay away from people, do the social distancing. So you're not getting any high risk people in danger and that sort of thing. You just know, don't know who's got it. I know we have a few tested positive here in our County and some in the County next to us. Mostly, um, the rest of them are up North, I think, uh, towards Washington. But anyway, I just wanted to, uh, get on here and do a quick update. I know, um, I'm going to not beat myself up if I decide I need to have an extra, you know, extra item or two here or there, but I'm not going to go backwards. I'm not going to let myself go backwards. That's for sure. I definitely want to, uh, at least maintain and maintaining during a super, super stressful, um, event I think is actually a positive. <laughs> so I think that's a good thing. And, uh, I'm going to shoot for maintaining and hopefully gradually going down. So I've decided to definitely try to get some more exercise in. I'm going to be needing it, not to mention just for burning up some more calories, but it really helps you to, to relieve your stress. Today, the electricity went out. So I got out, I started walking in the yard. I took some big pictures. I did a video. I did a live out here showing the, the yard and how pretty it was today. It was a beautiful day. Um, so getting outside, it just feels really good walking a little bit. Uh, we're getting the treadmill to where we can get to it. It's kind of stacked with a, a lot of stuff. Uh, so we can get that out, start doing some more exercise on there. Cause you can't go to the gym. The gyms are closed. Um, getting, uh, some of my, uh, my jump rope out, jump rope and, and that sort of thing. And we want to get out and start, uh, playing with the ball. We have a little badminton set. We have volleyball. I love volleyball. Uh, throw that around the yard just to get some exercise in. Uh, it'll make you feel better, help you to lose weight, make you feel better, get some stress out, get some stress relief. Cause I know we all need that right now. So, uh, on that note, if you, uh, need help with getting some exercise added into your life, I do have a list of seven fat burning exercises, super quick and easy, like five minutes or less. Hey, Cindy. And, uh, 
you can add them in throughout the day. That's what makes it easy for me is I can put it into my busy schedule, just little bits of exercise throughout the day, and it adds up over time, over the day. You can get 25, 30 minutes in, and you don't even know it. So if you'd like that, just send me a private message and say seven exercise. I'd be happy to send it to you, and you can check it out, add it into your daily routine. Just another way to get some exercise in de-stress, get some stress off, burn a few calories, wake yourself up, whatever you need. Uh, just send me a private message and I'll send that to you. And I hope you're having a great, hope you had a great weekend. Mine was kind of crazy, man, with electricity out. I had so many things I wanted to do, but we did um, step away from the computers and uh, did do some organizing, did some cleaning, getting um, some you know, stuff organized. We have a lot of our, um, you know, extra food. We got some extra food and extra supplies and stuff. So we had to have a place to put it and a few projects that I've been wanting to work on for a long time and haven't got to. So I decided to start those. So it was good to get those things out of the way. It felt pretty good, but feeling a little bit late, uh, tonight because I had a lot of things I needed to work on today on the computer. So getting to it later, but that's cool. Going to get it done and, uh, everything will work out. So I'm gonna head head in here. I got a few more things to go. Then I'm gonna get to bed because I gotta get some sleep because sleep is so important for your stress level and uh, your immune system and all that kind of good stuff. So hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. Hopefully everybody has a good week, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you in my next video.